This is KUTV News, Channel 2, Salt Lake City, Utah. Good evening, I'm Bob Evans. And I'm Kathy Brock. The Wasatch Front will be squeezed between air pollution control and economic development, according to the experts. State officials and pollution experts met in Park City today to talk about how to clean up Utah's air. They say Utah has done pretty well in the past, but the future looks very difficult. KUTV's Rod Decker reports. Air pollution imposes hidden as well as outright costs to our economy. Experts at the conference that noted that Utah has made progress in cleaning up the air. We've had some real successes uh, in, in Salt Lake. Lead-free gasoline and automobile pollution inspections have slashed lead pollution. After rising during the 1970s, Wasatch Front sulfur dioxide has fallen. But, especially during winter air inversions, Wasatch Front air gets so dirty it's unhealthy. It gets dirtier than the law allows, and future cleanup will be more difficult because Utah is growing. We have a mighty challenge to create jobs for the fastest, or for the highest birth rate in the nation. And in many areas, that will put us in direct conflict with things that we may think are, we have to do in the environment. In Salt Lake, population is growing faster than in the rest of the nation, and the number of vehicle miles driven will rise faster than the population. So, for example, cleaner cars and inspections are cutting Wasatch Front pollution from vehicles way down, but the pollution will rise back significantly just because the number of cars is increasing. Trying to clean up a growing population is like trying to run down an up escalator, according to Professor Noel Denevers. It means that since our population is growing three times as fast as the population of the rest of the United States, if we want to stay even in pollution control, we must reduce our emissions three times as fast. Two targets for future cleanup, even more stringent pollution controls on cars and controls on wood-burning fireplaces and stoves. Utah has made some progress in cleaning up the air, but because the state is growing, Utahns will have to work harder and pay more for progress in the future. Rod Decker, KUTV News. Hundreds of people are heading home tonight after a toxic fire in Idaho. About 300 Melba residents near Boise were evacuated before dawn this morning after a storage shed containing the insecticide Parathion caught fire. The insecticide is used on potato plants. Firefighters did not attempt to put out the blaze because they said water could have spread toxic fumes. They say several people suffered nausea and dizziness from the fire and smoke. A Salt Lake City woman and her children are alive tonight thanks to the efforts of a sister and city firefighters. Marty Razo broke down the door of her sister's burning duplex about 8 o'clock this morning and pulled Cleo Olmedo and two children to safety. Firefighters found a third child in the house whose heart had stopped beating. Paramedics revived the three-year-old boy who was in stable condition at University Hospital tonight. Razo says she left the apartment shortly before the fire broke out, but returned when a five-year-old nephew told her of the blaze. Damage to the home is estimated at $15,000 to $20,000. Rain this week is welcome relief for Utah cattle ranchers, but it may be coming too late to salvage parched rangeland. Federal grazing permits have already been cut. And as KUTV's John O'Connor reports, Drought conditions again this year are putting some ranchers in jeopardy. Bill Jorgensen is a lifelong rancher, but these days he's not so sure he wants to stay in the cattle business. Well, it uh, looks mighty serious. Uh, one of the worst ones that we've run into since I've been in the cattle business. I'm just cutting back. A small percentage now and hopes that things will maybe improve a little bit that I can make it through this year with the rest that I have. If they don't improve, we'll just keep moving them out. Bill, like other Utah ranchers, is at the Salina cattle auction to sell off part of his herd. The third straight year of drought is forcing the Bureau of Land Management and the Forest Service to cut back on the grazing permitted on federal land. Buying feed for the summer is too expensive and so is leasing private pastures elsewhere. That leaves ranchers no other option but to sell off early. Uh, over the last six months, uh, we're running nine, a few over 9,000 head ahead of the same period a year ago. And I think probably half of that 9,000 head uh, 
is due to uh, drought conditions. The drought is bringing him to town. Coming to auction in a light drizzle is more than just an irony for these Utah ranchers. Making a living in the cattle business is hard enough under the best of circumstances. In a drought, it can be next to impossible. And unless more rain is on the way, this won't be the only trip to auction for Bill and other ranchers like him. Right now, it looks like yeah, I'll just keep it as long as I can handle it and then uh, hopefully find somebody that uh, has got a lot of money and not too bright that'd like to buy it. <laughs> John O'Connor, KUTV News, Salina. A twin-engine plane crashes in Cedar City. Investigators are searching for clues. And hang gliding. Now there's another danger for those daredevils. Green Sweep ready to use liquids. Keep your lawn healthy and green all season. Just hook up Green Sweep and turn on the hose. Ten minutes later, they'll never know how easy it was. Lawn care with Green Sweep is different because a beautiful lawn shouldn't be all work. This season, when you buy Roundup Grass and Weed Killer, you can save up to $120 on American Airlines tickets. Let Roundup get rid of your weeds while you take off with American. Nothing kills weeds better than Roundup. Fun. I'm glad you asked me that because it reminds me of a story my father once told me. He said, when the fish aren't biting... Some people want to change the subject. We just want to change your oil. I got wheels, I got steels, and you... Yes. <laughs> Buy two. Piggy Poochie. Fluffy homemade bottles. Call now. Some people want to change your mind. We just want to change your oil. At Meineke, your bill won't go up just because your car does, thanks to our free undercar inspection. So bring your car to Meineke. We'll give you a lift without taking you for a ride. I've driven Toyotas a half a million miles. In 1982, I bought a Toyota 4x4, and eight years later, I got over $3,100 back for it. That means I own that truck for about $100 a month. I use my truck in field work as an archaeologist. 155,000 miles, and all I replaced was an alternator. I just bought a 1990 4x4 Toyota pickup. It's easy to see why I love my new Toyota. Toyota quality pays for itself. That's why it pays to see your Toyota dealer now. Four people from Florida are dead tonight after a plane crash near Cedar City. Investigators found the bodies of three men and a woman in the wreckage of a twin-engine plane early this morning. Air traffic controllers say they gave the plane permission to land in Cedar City last night, but is, as it approached the airport, the Navajo Piper disappeared. Flight uh, from Denver en route to Reno, uh, and uh, they uh, attempted to uh, refuel in Cedar City. Uh, passed once, had some uh, problems perhaps, and were circling to land again when uh, the crash occurred. Traffic controllers picked up emergency distress signals, but they did not find the plane until early this morning. The names of the victims are being withheld pending notification of relatives. Hang gliding has long been termed a dangerous sport, but now, along with the dangers of hitting a mountain or falling to earth, comes a new problem. KUTV's Christy Snow reports on small planes and hang gliders getting a little too close for comfort. Hang gliders at the point of the mountain near Draper have used the area for 10 years. Now they worry about the increasing traffic of small planes in the area. Uh, the valley right there gets a little bit narrow and it's hard to eliminate the growth of air traffic and people in the valley. And so, yeah, I see it as something to be concerned about. and be Gliders say a mid-air collision with a plane is a possibility and are using strobe lights to alert pilots their light crafts are near. The concern arose last November when the Federal Aviation Administration reduced the corridors small planes can take into the valley. So more are using the point of the mountain for entry. The uh, worst case scenario would be that a hang glider gets in the path of an aircraft and uh, they don't see each other until it's too late. You've got to remember that aircraft are coming down there a couple hundred miles an hour. Local FAA officials say the laws are similar to traffic on a road. You have to keep your eyes open. We should have adequate uh, rules in place to ensure the safe operation of anyone that wants to use the airspace. But we have to keep in mind that the hang glider or the ultralight vehicle is required by law to give way to the fixed-wing airplane. 
This new map of the Salt Lake Tower control area alerts pilots to hang gliding areas, but more hang gliders and planes increases the risk of disaster between the two. For now, all sides hope watching for trouble is enough to keep it away. Christy Snow, KUTV News. Two mail order companies are fighting a Utah federal grand jury subpoena demanding the names of all of their condom customers. The investigation and subpoena stem from a complaint by a Logan couple whose son received sample condoms and a brochure in the mail. But a lawyer for the firms says the companies broke no laws and that the subpoena is an unconstitutional invasion of privacy. The lawyer also says the condom samples were sent only after a telephone request. Kim's rather chilly forecast is coming up next. And Yellowstone says no to wolves. I'm Rick Mears with a car care tip from Pennzoil. The first five seconds after you started your car is when friction causes the most engine damage. So choose quality Pennzoil and get world-class protection against friction. And here's another tip. Now save over $80 on great car care products with the Pennzoil Car Care Savings Book. It's yours free. Just mail in five labels from bottles of quality Pennzoil. Because when it comes to world-class protection and savings, Pennzoil wrote the book on it. The Infinity Q45. First your hand turns the wheel, then the wheel turns the shaft, which turns the pinion, which turns the rack, which turns a serious luxury sedan into a sports car on a joyride. There. So much for that little fork in the road. It's Granite Furniture's 80th birthday, but you're the one who gets the presents. Granite is celebrating 80 years of business with the biggest home furnishing sale you've ever seen. This week you'll find great deals in every department. Furniture, appliances, home electronics, carpeting and bedding. You could even win a big screen TV. We'll give one away every month through August. So don't miss the fun or the savings this week at Granite Furniture's huge 80th birthday sale. It's the one sale where you'll get more than you pay for. Yeah, I know. Buying your first house is an exciting time, and Freddy's has all you need to make it a home, including low prices that mean more now than ever before. So, <sighs> where should we put the crib? 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 <laughs> That's why Fred Meyer makes sense for families. 